Hey guys, Bree here. Um, on the page eight, um, since it's gonna be like a three day weekend, I'll probably try to do eight, nine, and ten, but we'll see. Just for now, we'll just do page eight and we'll see how it goes. Anywho, on to page eight. <clears throat> And how do you propose asking her out after such a short introduction, Kazde asked. You saw how she gazed into my eyes and hung on every word I said, Lucifer said. Do you really think you have her in your hold already, Kazde asked. If I didn't, she would not have responded to me as she did, Lucifer said. Do you want one of us to go talk to her on your behalf, Kazde said. No, Kazde, I think I'll take this one, Lucifer said, walking out of the banquet hall and down towards the clipper. What was it about Lucifer that caught her attention? Was it his brown eyes, the perfect brown hair? Or was it the way he spoke and his gentility? Whatever it was, Melissa was liking it, and she found Lucifer to be quite intriguing. She began washing more dishes and putting them up when Lucifer gently waltzed into the dishwashing area and stopped. He watched as she put each dish gently in its rightful place. She turned around, and for that brief moment, she was taken aback. I'm sorry, Melissa. I didn't mean to startle you, Lucifer smiled. She froze as she took in his presence. The two locked eyes and explored each other as if to get the right reading or signal. No, it's fine. I just thought you had left, Melissa smiled. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Lucifer shook his head, smiling. How could I leave such a beautiful woman such as yourself? Lucifer asked again with that smile. Melissa turned as red as a strawberry. I, uh, well, Melissa stammered. My apologies. I had forgotten you were not used to such compliments, Lucifer said. It's quite all right, she smiled. Lucifer walked closer to her until the two almost touched foot to foot. I was wondering, Lucifer said. Yes, Melissa asked. If you would join me for dinner tonight, just the two of us in the banquet hall. You are free, aren't you? Lucifer asked. I, uh, well, Melissa said, not knowing how to answer. I understand if you would recline. Lucifer said, no, that is, I would love to join you for dinner tonight, Melissa smiled. Wonderful. I'll have it set up tonight. Until then, take care, Lucifer smiled, walking out the door. He smiled so deviously he could barely contain himself. He didn't expect to have her in his grasp all too easily so soon. Melissa was unable to contain her excitement, shouted for joy, and accidentally threw a dish into the wall. Dantelia walked in after he heard the commotion, figuring out what had happened. Is everything all right, Melissa? Dantelia asked. Oh, is it ever? Lucifer asked me to dinner tonight, Melissa said. That's wonderful. I hope you two have a wonderful time, Dantelia smiled. I have a feeling it's going to be the start of a beautiful friendship, Melissa said, happily going back to work. The Italian smiled, knowing full well just how this friendship was not only going to start, but also end. For now, that's page eight. This is Bree signing out. See you later.